Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with the 16th week of WeeklyPokerHand.com, where it's going to be going over one of my hands I played recently in an online multi-table tournament. As you see, we get the aces in the cutoff, which is always a good thing, and I raise it to 60 at 1020. The button calls, and the big blind also calls. You notice we have about 1,300 chips behind, there's already 200 chips in the pot, so... We're going to be trying to get full value here, obviously, no matter what really comes on the flop. We do get a very good flop of Ace of Spades, King of Hearts, Eight of Hearts. Big blind checks. I like to bet 120. And in this spot, I think that you definitely need to bet. There are a lot of turn cards that could either kill your action or actually give you the worst hand. And that's never what you want whenever you have something like top set because you just can't get away from it. Say, for example, the turn was a Ten of Clubs. If one of my opponents is all of a sudden very willing to get a lot of money in, he either, either has something like exactly 10-8 or king-10 that I may not have gotten all the money in earlier, or he's made a straight. And if he had something like ace-10, he would have put the money in as well. So slow playing doesn't really do too much good in situations like that. The only time you're really going to get a lot of extra money is when someone has like pocket threes in the terms of three of diamonds. So... Right here, you just might as well go ahead and bet and hope one of your two opponents has something, which they will a decent amount of the time. The big blind, or the button folds, and the big blind makes it 400, which is a pretty hefty raise. And in this spot, I think we really only have one option, and that is to just go all in. And I know it may seem extraordinarily straightforward, but what a lot of players do in this spot is they like to call, and what happens then is it saves the turns of heart and your opponent sitting over here with like ace-jack, he's going to be able to get away from his hand. And that is not what you want. You know, if he has ace-jack here, he may be willing to raise-fold it, but in general, whenever someone raises a semi-draw-heavy flop like this with a hand like top pair, they're not raising with the intention of folding. They're raising to try to get it all in. And so I think if, if Kid Poker here has any sort of ace or two pair hand, he's just never ever folding. You know, if he has something like 7-8, he'll fold. But I really don't even think a lot of players are going to be doing this check raise with something like 7-8 at the mid-state games. So, I think going all in is good. Always try to think about your other options, though. What would a raise to 800 do? And in this way, I think a raise to 800 would just look absurdly strong, and that is not really what we want. You never want to look absurdly strong whenever you have a hand that actually is absurdly strong. So, that's sort of out of the question. Um... What about a call? Like I said, a call I don't think is great because... I mean, I, th I think a call here is a lot better than just um, checking than checking back the flop to slow play. Because your opponent could have something like ace-10 that he would have fold may have folded to check raise, and then he'll just go with it all the way. But I think more often than not, your my opponent here is going to have a very strong hand. A lot of players will check call with something like ace-10, and they'll be check raising only with fairly premium hands like ace-8... King 8, pocket 8s, pocket kings, which I think is about impossible. Or a big draw. And if he has a big draw, there's nothing wrong with getting all the money in right now. So, I do like to shove, and my opponent does call, and he has pocket 8s. So, sort of a setup hand. But, notice, like, say if the turn was a jack of hearts, my opponent may, like, check call, then check fold the river. And that's that's not what we want at all. We're much, we'd much rather get all the money in right now. And if your opponent does have a two-pair hand... He's just never getting away from it. And, you know, two pair hands are reasonably likely here. Plus, I don't think you'll get away from top pair. So all that being said, I do think getting it all in here is a very good play. And as you see, actually, say we did call in the terms of the Queen of Hearts, it'd be pretty tough to get the money in unless my opponent does have one of these random sets, which is, I think, pretty unlikely in general because he can't have aces and he probably doesn't have kings. So all in all, it's a hand that I think... It's going to play itself for most players, but not necessarily for the reasons they think. A lot of players are just going to try to pile the money in on the flop because they have top set and they don't want to get outdrawn. But we're not really worried about getting outdrawn. We're worried about maximizing value. And in this case, I think both lines just happen to be the same. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. And in part two of the 16th week of WeeklyPokerHand.com, I'm going to be going over my opponent's play, and I will explain whether or not I think he played his hand well. So take a look at that. This has been Jonathan Little. Thanks for watching.